I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us in this adventure. We are currently in South Africa, which is our sixth out of the nine countries we'll be touring in this road trip. And we can't wait to show you the reason why we came this far. So stay tuned and enjoy. So far, the performance of our car has been optimum. Other than fixing the air conditioning in Lusaka, we've not had any other issue with the car.
in our second toll station and we're expecting to pay how much? 26 rands. Yes. The first one was a bit expensive. 91. Yes, the first one was The 91. first one was 91 rands. This one is 26 rands. And we're hoping that it will continue going down with time because eh, 91 just shocked us. That's a lot of money. 91 is almost 1,000 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. Yes. That was too high. It's the highest we've paid, right? Yeah. In, 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 in Zambia, we had been paying 20 kwacha per station, but here it's a bit expensive. So 26 is still also very expensive. But we are hoping that the, the price will continue reducing as you continue. You guys, see the rainbow? That is a sign of hope. We are going to be fine in this trip. Yay! We could see some hills of, of like, they look like some hill, hills of sand or some soil. So we were thinking that they were mining something until we come across this building which has some fire. Like it has like two chimneys with some fire coming out of it. So if you are in South Africa and you know this place, it's uh, 72 kilometers to Pretoria. If you know that, if you know what, what kind of mining or what kind of activities happen there, please let us know. number three we paid 18 runs so it was 91 26 and then this one is 18 runs so it looks like the toll fee keeps reducing as we continue with our journey towards Johannesburg We're in Brooklyn, Pretoria. We're heading towards our accommodation. Yay! It looks like a very decent place. Get it. <laughs> wow. wow. Julia Street. Hi guys, you're already in Pretoria, Brooklyn. We got this Airbnb and it cost us around 19,000 Kenyan shillings but we needed to be somewhere very secure it is a beautiful house let me just say that come in let's have a brief tour you will see more during the day but once you get in you come across this thing this one and this is part of the kitchen the kitchen is so big it has several barriers so there is the fridge here 
have our sink here, plenty of storage space. So we're still, this is still the kitchen. Okay, when you come in this direction, there is this working surface, plenty of storage space, some kettle there to fit to boil water. You have uh, pans. We are going to cook our dinner. Plenty of utensils, pans, spoons, forks, cutlery. Yeah, we are going to cook. We have the oven here, more storage space. They offer some sugar, some coffee here and there. And so at least they have given us some basic breakfast items. Here is the cooker. It's a huge one. <laughs> and we're still in the kitchen. And then the kitchen art. This house has very, very beautiful artwork. So that this that entire space is the kitchen. It has these two. It has these two pillars here. So I believe this is supposed to be either the dining area, the lounge area, or I don't know if it is an extension of the kitchen. But come to this kitchen. Welcome to the living area. <laughs> so here is the sitting area, the living area, and then this is the dining. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, hello. <laughs> How do you find the house? Um, it looks amazing. It's amazing. Yes. I think it's one of the best we've ever come, we've is ever it? stayed with, right? Actually, the best. <laughs> yes. The best. Yeah, it's really the best. <laughs> I will say one of the best because I think I've stayed in other yeah, than no, it, was, it was nice. <laughs> all of us. So I believe when it gets cold here, there is this furnace here, the fireplace. I, I, I really wish it was cold so that we can light some fire there. Yeah? So it is a special modern house. Uh, and then there's some, I think, up here. I don't know what is up here. Let's find out. I think it is a play area because I can see something like a pool table. I'm not sure that is already set or what, but it is some. Um, I guess it's a place to play or something to play board games, but I'll find out in the morning. And you guys will be able to see this place better during the day when the light is out. Okay, let's go to the bedrooms. It is a three bedroom house. So this is the first bedroom. And then the scent. Oh my god. Hmm? It smells really nice. Really nice. So this is the first bedroom. It has this size bed. Oh my god. Just you can see, you can literally see how bouncy it is. Woo! <laughs> Very comfortable. This entire space is wardrobe. Storage for clothes, storage for shoes, storage for everything and anything. They have extra duvet here in case it gets cold. And then here is the wash, the toilet. Yeah, this is the toilet. I've never been to a, to a house with an open bathroom. You see this, the shower, and then the toilet is just open like that. It's only the first time to everything. It's an open washroom. But I love the floor. Oh my god, this is awesome. So the, there is a lot of space for natural natural light. There's here, there's there. So it means that during the night, the day this place will be well lit. We have another bedroom again. <laughs> so this is bedroom number two. It has single beds. Yeah, I believe it's meant for kids or maybe adults who prefer sleeping apart. They also have their own wardrobe. It's a small space, but very neat. By the way, they provide very, very white and clean towels. So when you get to this house, you just feel like it's a very clean house. You can literally walk on your bare feet. So there is this shared, this is a shared toilet right here. And then this here is the shared bathroom. It has a bathtub. For those who love bathtubs, I love bathtubs, but I won't be soaking here. Yeah, I won't be soaking here. Now, the last bedroom. It has a lot of stuff. 
So this is the other bedroom. It is this. It is smaller than the master, but it's equally beautiful with plenty of storage again. And this washroom is bigger. I love the fact that it's all white. Now, guys, we are staying. In, it is like a villa. We are staying in this villa alone, like the six of us. There is the parking space out here. You see our cars? Yeah, there's our own parking space here. It's in a very, very secure neighborhood. We've seen Pretoria by the night and Pretoria is big. You people, Pretoria is big. That is just what we saw at night. I can't wait to see Pretoria during the day. Now, let me tell you something, guys. Today at the border, when we were busy clearing, we, we had the easiest time clearing between the Botswana and South African border. That was some of the fastest clearing process ever. I've, I'll just say we've had a very good day for so many reasons. We had very fast clearance at the border. In the Botswana side, we spent like 20 minutes, but that, that is, that's because the customs officer thought that we were exporting some goods. We kept saying we are, take it, we are not exporting anything. We are taking it just our, our personal effects, but it looks like we had a language barrier. So we delayed there for maybe for another 10 minutes that was not required but still it was fast when we went to the south african side they were like you are kenyans stamps uh, everything was processed let's check the vehicle it was very fast the south african side was very fast we literally spent there like five minutes was five to seven minutes there it was very fast we had very friendly customs officers Ooh. in fact some of some of them some of them are following me now on on on, <laughs> on youtube <laughs> eh? shout out to you you know yourself shout out to you that was very very fast clearance at the border now we came all the way uh to it's called zirast yes yeah, something of that sort yes to the next town the immediate town after uh, after the border and we got some sim cards at least registering the sim cards was seamless the only problem is that you could not get local food, so we had to get some pizza. Imagine after we had gone to so many stores and just, we just passed so many stores because we did not want fast food and then eventually had to take pizza. I wish I just ate some actual solid food, but at least the pizza kept us still today. And then when we got to, when we started again the journey, oh my God, oh my God, South Africa is beautiful like no exaggerations no nothing and if everyone was telling us to go to garden route and this this is not garden route yet but hey eh, i'm telling you south africa you're blessed the formations in your country are just out of this world you could tell the difference between south africa and botswana you know botswana is mostly like plain land plateau but south africa has hills it has very beautiful formations and we were just like wow wow and then we were graced by some rain some rainbow and then the sunset came out oh my god the beautiful glow of the sunset but something i did not mention at the border we came across this the, we were just talking in Swahili and while, while going back to our car after the clearing and then another lady was like Abarizenu. and then we were like mzuri and then we had that accent that is not a tanzanian accent and then he was like you guys are from kenya and then we were like yeah she was she just said, you know, I come from Kenya. It's so nice to hear from you guys. It's so nice to hear someone talking so you were like, ah, all of us just after like talking to her for five minutes, hand came. Oh my God, that was just out of this world. They came and then we were there talking, talking about home. We were just, you know, it is very nice meeting Kenyans in diaspora. Guys, Kenyans in diaspora are the best. He even invited us to have lunch tomorrow at his place and we are going guys we have to go for that lunch it's nice to be invited by a fellow kenyan they're literally our brothers from home so we are going for that break for that lunch at one tomorrow they also invited us to go to church i'm going to discuss with my group if if they'll be going to church so there is a morning and evening service we'll figure out what to do and i would just say today was a success and thank you lord for getting us to south africa this is and real our dreams are coming true thank you for watching and thank you for supporting us through all those means until we we manage to 
make this dream come true thank you for everything comment below on what you think on this journey so far hit that like button share with your friends the journey has just begun we just got to south africa so there is a lot more to see imagine what you have seen is nothing yet there is more to see so if you haven't subscribed this is a reason to subscribe eh? so the guys are going to watch rugby today the rugby players will be, they'll be finals new zealand versus south africa and we are team south africa <laughs> so guys see you in the morning when there is light and then we'll tell you our program for the day we have to do some tours around pretoria so stay tuned From Chile, Pretoria. It's raining and it's this chilly. Good morning. <laughs> so, guys, we were supposed to go and do a tour of the city, but it's raining. Uh, we did not have water since the moment, since morning. So, we have waited until around 2 is when our host has resolved the issue. And I think it is a Pretoria problem. So, some water is being brought by, the, by some truck and we'll be fine so we'll be staying here even tonight it is an it is a villa in brooklyn pretoria and we're excited to be in pretoria vincent hi hi from pretoria hi it's the morning or afternoon yes I it's, think afternoon. it's the first time we are meeting rain since we left Nairobi. Yes. And this must be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's lying. We are mad that it's raining and we are supposed to tour the city. Hi from my crew by the way, guys. Hadia. Hi. Victor is hiding there. Victor. I'm not, I'm not hiding. I'm the first one who has approached you, so I don't know how I think I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining heavily in 
Pretoria. Uh -huh. right, right now we're in Pretoria and we're still exploring South Africa. We have around two weeks in South Africa, so there's a lot of scenic views for you guys. It's a lot of exploration, a lot of everything right now. Because you cannot go and tour the city okay. when it's raining, we had been invited by a Kenyan who lives in Pretoria. Yay! For lunch. We are going for a, a late lunch. It was supposed to be at one, but we told him that we did not have water and he was okay with it. So we are going to meet our fellow Kenyans. People from motherland in a foreign country. Like you're having lunch. I'm excited so if you've never watched any of my video, here is your chance. Hit that like button and please subscribe. There's a lot of awesome content coming. Pretoria is South Africa's administrative capital. It was named after Vutrika leader Andreas Pretorius, but locally it is known as Jacaranda City because of thousands of jacaranda trees planted along its streets. Wow, South African churches. They are so beautiful. I saw I saw one that is similar to that one. In uh, it's called Zilast. 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 So far, I can say that Pretoria is a modern city that is big, clean, and very much organized. It also has very beautiful residential properties in its surroundings. So we are heading to this estate. I won't give you much details for, for, security. for security reasons. So guys, we are just from having lunch with our Kenyan friend, our newly acquired friend. Thank you so much, Jerome, for your hospitality. We saw his family, he's told us about, about his experience in South Africa. He's given us ideas of places to visit. He's a very resourceful person and is as kind as Kenyans are. So this is to you, Jerome. Be blessed. You. May your family be blessed. May you never lack. Thank you so much. To me Shiba Kweli Kweli. So we are leaving his home and we are heading towards a, we're going for a church service. He had also invited us to his church and I'm excited to attend a South African church. I, I would not have shown you his house or his family or whatever. I like keeping people's private life private. Yes, so you will I hope you'll understand. And we're going out to church. I'm excited. <laughs> By the way, South Africa has some of the most beautiful churches I've seen so far. Now let's continue with these photos, photo sessions in churches, huh? It will be my thing. So it's quite cold. That is why I'm dressed the way I am. It's 14 degrees actually. Look at that. Look at that. When you're in the house, you won't notice, but when you get out is when you realize it's so cold. And you expect that tomorrow will also be this cold. Yeah, yeah, it's called Grace Fellowship.
Let us read together Psalm 16. A Miktam of David. Preserve me, O God, for I take refuge in you. Message. It is the power of God. It does not come through the ingenuity or creativity of the messenger. <laughs> As a Christian, I really like this church because it is based on biblical teaching. I am so, so grateful to Jerome and his family for allowing us into their space. Good morning from Pretoria. <laughs> so this is our day three in Pretoria. Today we are going to do a tour of the city. Yeah, Pretoria city. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> so we this is going to be fun. Yes. And that so, come true. So it is chilly. Oh my God. I've worn this coat like a thousand times and I'll still wear it because it's very, very cold. You can even see it on my face, all the goosebumps, yeah? Mm. Yeah, so today we'll be doing a tour around Pretoria. We'll do, visit several sites. It's a very big city, but we'll do as much as we can. Uh, um, one of you has organized a tour guide for us, and we hope to meet him at around noon. So we'll be doing a few sites here and there. And then after that, we'll be able to meet him so that he can take us around the city. But we intend to enjoy. You see the way Vincent is excited. <laughs> I'm with Jen here. She's the one who's pretending as if it's not cold. Eh? Look at you. Look at you, but... Hey, I'm just... But so far, so good. This place is just so beautiful. Okay, we, lo we love our apartments. We love our villa. <laughs> Every time we want to leave, we, we are like, no. So yeah, we are like, <laughs> no, we can't leave. That is, there goes our villa. And we love the jacaranda. Ooh. This is our road trip from Nairobi to South Africa. We're already in South Africa, our first city. And we are still in South Africa for another two weeks. So stay tuned and please subscribe. This is all mist. It can show from the engine. Yeah, it can show from the engine. It's so cold. It is eight degrees. Yeah, it's freezing cold. Huh? <laughs> we are here. We came here. We came here. And here. Now we are where? We are here. Very soon we'll be going here. So our journey continues. towards the Butrika monument it's a very beautiful mo monument we saw it uh, the day when we go to Pretoria at night but we did not uh, since it was at night we could not check it out so this is our chance to go and check it out there are so many places to visit by then Pretoria so many too many in fact we are sure we cannot finish all of them but we'll just do as much as we can meanwhile it's nine degrees Celsius outside. It's so so cold. Look at that. I thought I would never survive below 15 degrees Celsius, but from what I see, I can, I can go to the polar regions. <laughs> I know it gets to negative, but I think I can handle it now.
<laughs> Where you people? It's so cold. Eh, uh, uh. It's so cold. My hands are freezing, literally. And it's 8 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the idea, the, the, the weather forecast that idea, uh, idea showed us yesterday, it will get to as low as 7 degrees. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not used to this weather, no. Hey, please, Mother Sun, come out. We have to use Google Lens here. I'm not sure if that is even Butrekem hey, Monument. Monument. I would really like to know how that is pronounced. So, let's see if this is the reception side. It's so cold. I think it is a it is a war monument or something, a reminder, because I'm seeing a lot of these chariots like they look like the old old cannons. Yeah? Injani. Injani. What is Injani? How are you? Oh, yeah, Injani. Thank you. Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Oh, look at that here. You yeah, feel Injani. You yeah, feel Injani. Thank you. Thank you. Mire, Kaidu. Morning, morning. Oh, this is a chariot. Africans. Sorry? Africans. Africans. Oh. Yeah, it's Africans. And the one outside and there. And the one outside there. Africans. Africans. Still. Africans. All Africans. All Africans. Ah. Africans. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you are from? Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like just chariots. Chariots, chariots. Are these what chariots? Yes, we don't need them. So I'm also African. You know who Papua New Guinea is? What? Huh? Like Southwest Africa. Now they call it Namibia. Oh, the oh. oh cool. Now they call it Namibia. Oh, so what's the first name? The first one is Bakunale. Bakunale. Yeah. Before the Dutch, before the Dutch come in and take over and make it. Uh, yeah, land. The, the Namibia. Is Namibia? No, 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 no. The 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 Dutch stay with Bakunale. Basically, this is a museum for that shows uh, an idea of freedom of the Africans people. That is what I've gotten from their booklet, or rather the yeah, let me call it the booklet. When you come here, if you need a guide, you'll have to pay 450 rands, but you can also get a guide or the, the booklet that I'm talking about. Uh, at, you just scan a QR code and then you'll get all the details. So this is the this is what I'm, I've just scanned it and I've found this. So there is a lot a lot of information here about the Africans people. It talks about their way of living, their how they used to do hunting, how they used to do fishing, their wild animals, the animals they read like the big bulls, yeah, the chariots that they used to carry stuff from here, from one place to another. It's a whole history about the African people. It's part of their art. You can see some jewelry, some artwork here. Industries, musical schools, the games, typical house. Ah, they got their letter from their kettle. What is leather? If you watched my my road trip to Uganda, we went to one of those cultural crafts, craft centers and we came across a musical instrument that looked like this one. So you just pluck the, pluck those metals and they produce some sound. You see they had trains, this is the train, a nice photo of the train. This is how their estates were arranged. Yeah, it's called Richard Bay Harbor. Mm. This must be the entire model. Expect to pay 150 rands per head, but if you come with a guide, you'll pay 250 rands per, 200 rands per head. I think the 50 rands is for the guide, so we were given the offer for 150 rands per head, and you pay parking 20 rands for, the, for each car. 
So you have to know that one. Afrikaans is a very different thing from any other thing, a different uh, community or culture from all the other African cultures that I've come across. So this is very new to me. I wish I had a guide, but I do not have the extra 450 runs for the guide. So I'll just have to make do with uh, the, the, the booklet that they have, they have given us using the QR. But from what I can tell is, the African people are quite civilized. They were a bit more modern. They they used uh, trains. They had modern houses. The model of their houses were were quite modern. If I compare them with right now, the kind of buildings we live in, or even the people in South Africa live in, there is just some quite some modernization. Uh, a little talking of the designs here and there, but. Generally, they are modern people, so it's really nice to see all this. We'll get to see the big, the big. It's called the largest monument in Africa. This is how they made their ceramic, their, their like ceramic ware. I think it's the most detailed display of culture I've ever seen. Right, Adia? Yeah. It is the most detailed display of culture we've ever seen. Different color, rainbow nation. <laughs> We googled the word uh, Viotrikas. It means pathfinders or the founders, those who came to explore South Africa among the first people. That is what it's all about. Them. So somehow their their culture got got mixed up with the Africans that they found here, and that is why you'll feel like there is some bits of African culture, bits of the. Dutch culture, just a mixture of the same. This look like the goods that produce cashmere. Okay, that is what my ignorant self is saying. <coughs> Why we are showing you these animals is because this is how a typical Butrican, Butrican's farm house would look like. They would have some sheep, some goats, this kind of goat, and then the horses. By the it's so cold, I think it's less than, it was 9 degrees earlier, but right now I think it's less than that. It's supposed to be spring that, let's just say summer, it's supposed to be summer, but I don't know why it's raining and it's this cold, but we've been told that this is just a passing weather. So let's hope from tomorrow the weather will be better. Behind me is the monument. This is the monument we came for. It's very beautiful. I can't wait to get in. It's called what again, Adia? Biotreka Monument. Apparently there were me, almost a million people who were here in 1940. Is it 49 or 45? 18 something. No, 1945. It was built for 10 years. Oh, okay. It was built for 10 years. And there were d during its uh, the opening of of the day of the monument. Is it opening the launching of the monument? There are so many people here who came to witness this. So let's get in. That thing up there is rotating. It's called Kovadis. What does that mean? So we've been told that once you get to the top there, we'll be able to see the entire view of the of Pretoria. So we have some climbing to do. These are just the first few steps look at that in its full splendor hey, it's the details for me wow hello lady this is awesome so these were trekkers from reading this now i am uh, um, the trekkers were trekkers trekkers pathfinders like explorers and all that i think they are trying to find better life for their for themselves and their families it is such an honor to be here
so we are here going to the rooftop. We've taken so many photos. Yeah, yeah. it's nice like here. Yeah. I like the, the curves on there. It's called the carvings on the wall. Here we go. Look at this. This is a photographer's dream. Look at this view. So this is the other side. It is a bit foggy. I believe that when there is no much fog, it will be clearer. Look at that. I can walk here the entire day. We're going up there. So, other than history, I'm here for the architecture. You guys know how much I love the architecture. And here's that dome. We're right on top of the dome. Let's see how the view of this place from up here. Wow. There goes the dome. And then wait for it. Drum rolls. Wow. Right behind the monument, there is the Zulu hut, and this is the entire story. The, you remember the Shaka Zulu? There we go. That is the entire history. So this is how the Zulu hut looked. It is very similar to other African traditional huts. But it has these ropes up here. So this is how it looks on the inside. I think this is where they cook. But that is just basically it. You would have so many hats in one place and then they will have the king's, the king's hat somewhere. But all these are just hats. Pause there and read the entire history. So guys we just left the monument and we're right now we've ordered some coffee and chips this is their gift shop books books jams yes strawberry grape watermelon and of course here are some dippings and fake snakes <laughs> you see the ones that they usually use in pranks they are these ones Okay. Truth is, truth is, I vaguely understand the history yeah, of this church. place. Yeah. That, yes, 53. I vaguely understand the history, but I love the architecture. I'll still learn. I think as we go, we get to understand more of the history of South Africa. As we continue with our, our trip, going to other museums. So for right now, we are freezing, and we are trying to get some hot so coffee. coffee yeah. Yes, it's so cold. Hopefully, we we'll go to another site today again, and then maybe just do a short tour of the city. It's cold. Chips is 35 runs. Plain yes. chips. Shops. And plain coffee. Do you have any sauces with it? Or 35 35 grams. Grams. We can have the sauce. In the next episode, we'll be exploring Pretoria City and go all the way to Johannesburg. So stay tuned for more episodes. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because the adventure has just begun. Please like the video and write on the comment section on what you think of the adventure so far, and also share the video with your friends and family. Until the next episode, guys. Bye.